Hello and welcome to a new video tutorial of SciGram. My name is Mauricio and today I will help you with the error another update is in progress. Let's begin. First of all, don't be afraid because it's a simple problem that we can fix in no time, but it's important to know why and when could happen this problem. The message, another update is currently in progress, could appear when we try to update WordPress. But what does it really mean? Well, this is the process that WordPress follows on every upgrade. Every time you try to install the latest version of WordPress using your dashboard, it will create a new upgrade record in the database to keep a track of the task. After that, the download begins. The problem comes when there's an error during these steps and WordPress is not able to delete the upgrade record in the database, so for our website it will be always in an upgrade mode. So how can we solve this? Well, we have three possible ways to solve the problem. Let me show you one by one. Restore a backup. We've got your back with the automated backups you can restore from titles. To do that, I recommend you to watch our video how to manage my backups in SiteGround Titles, where I explain with more details the steps you have to follow to restore that information. Delete the record using phpMyAdmin. To manage the database of your WordPress, you will have to access your SiteGround account. Once the Site Tools dashboard is loaded, click the MySQL link in the Site menu. In this page, you will find all the information to connect to your database with any MySQL client, but also we can use the tool phpMyAdmin, just clicking the Access phpMyAdmin button. In this example, I only have one database, but depending on the amount of WordPress installation or staging copies, you could have more than one database. That's why it's important to identify in which one apply these changes. Just select one database and then click the Options table. In the first row, you will see a record with the site URL name. If it corresponds to your site, then click in the SQL tab and paste this SQL command that you can also find in the description of this video and then click the go button. Please keep in mind that you can have another prefix for your tables. If so, change the SQL query to match the name of it. This command will show the row or record for the WordPress upgrade. In order to solve it, you just need to click the delete button. Delete the record using WPCLI. Now let's see the WPCLI approach. For this solution, you will need to have access to your server via SSH. In this link, you will find all the documentation to configure this tool in your SiteGround account. Once you have configured your SSH connection, connect to your server and go to the folder of your WordPress website. In that specific folder, run this WPCLI command. As you can see, this command deletes that specific option from the database. After following any of these solutions, you'll be able to upgrade your WordPress theme or plugins without getting any problem. I hope this video helped you to solve the problem. If so, consider subscribing to our channel to learn more about our tools and much more content we have prepared for you. Thank you and good luck.